Greetings everyone and welcome to another WIST technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to be talking about a messaging system to inform parents of incomplete homework. So the idea behind this uh, came out of a message I saw regarding a, a system a school would like to put in place to uh, minimize the work needed by teachers to communicate information to parents regarding homework uh, not being done. So this is a simple uh, three question form and this would have to be done per teacher. Um, you could modify this in a way to make it work per school um, with a little bit more work but I'm just going to demonstrate the concept as though this were one class. So I would be the teacher. This would be my form. I would simply say Oh, Sammy uh, did not complete his book report. And these notes are optional. Um, if I wanted to make specific comments about Sammy's effort, I could add those and then um, hit submit. Now, before we look at the uh, resp response sheet, um, I want to look one more time at this form. Um, this question here is actually using the form ranger add-on, which is pulling the class roster data into the question. So this way, there's no misspelling of names, and it's also a way to guarantee that when I link the student to a specific set of parental emails, um, it's going to be accurate every single time. So now let's look at the spreadsheet. So here um, you can see um, the data came in as expected. Um, here's Sammy. This was the book report assignment. I didn't add any extra notes. This is the parental email address. And here is the confirmation that the email has been delivered um, to the par parent. I don't have any parental emails in my training account, so I just use one of the the demo teacher accounts that I have, but I may, I may try to include like parent emails or something as a sample. So, but anyway, here's how this works. So, in addition to the response sheet, uh, I've added another sheet called roster, and under column A, these are all the students in the class, and under column B, these are the parental emails. Now, the way I link these to the student is via an array formula and a VLOOKUP. So back in the form responses, um, I've added a column here. This is column F, and I just called it parent. And you can see just here in cell F2, there's this formula. And what this does is it looks up the student in column C, cross-checks it against the roster, Right, so this is the range A2 and AB of this sheet. And then it's taking the second index, meaning the second column. So in our, in our sample, it looked up Sammy and took index two, which would be this uh, parental email address. And you could do comma separated emails to include more than one email on that. And then um, after that, uh, formula just does its thing and pushes out the, uh, the email on its own. So if you look at the add-on uh, for formula, here we go. Uh, it gives you uh, a nice preview, but I'll just walk you through my setup really quickly. So it first asked me where my source data is coming from, and this is true, it's coming from form responses one. So and then next I go ahead and I can build a template. Um, or I can decide how many different templates I want uh, in case there's different conditions that trigger different types of emails. You can get as complex or as non-complex as you like. So I'm just going to stick it, stick with that. And it's going to send um, for all of the rows and then building the, the template, and the reason I'm walking you through this because it, I, I want to show you kind of the, the user interface. It's really easy here to craft the email that goes out. So obviously, you put in the parental email address here using these merge tags, 
and the reply to address would be the username, um, especially if you're tracking the username. Um, this would be the teacher's email address. So if they have questions, they can just hit reply. Um, it'll go right back to the teacher. And then you can give it a static uh, subject line if you want. Um, you could even add the student for, yeah, you could do that as well. And then you can add a little message here and then go ahead and preview and send. Um, right now it's not going to uh, send anything because there's nothing queuing, waiting. But I, one thing I failed to show you was that you can also set it to fire or to trigger every time the form is submitted. So um, essentially you wouldn't really have to go back to the spreadsheet unless you somehow figure out that it doesn't seem to be working. But anyway, this is just one idea of communicating uh, sort of incomplete work uh, to home via a simple uh, Google uh, Sheets add-on. And hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.